If I somehow ended up on this distant planet, I'd probably roast or run out of air in no time. But, let's say I get to wear a super cool spacesuit and manage to stay alive. Having two suns and two shadows sounds pretty neat, but it's not as cool as three suns and three shadows. Join us cosmic journey what if the Earth does not exist? Recently, astronomers stumbled upon an extraordinary find, HD 131399AB. This new planet has shattered all previous records by orbiting around three suns simultaneously. It boasts a colossal mass, for times that of Jupiter, and takes an unusually long orbit around its trio of stars. A single revolution of this exoplanet around its three stars spans a whopping 550 Earth years. And get this, the three suns only dip below the horizon for about half of that time. Picture not witnessing a single sunset for 275 years. All of this is happening a staggering 340 light years away from our good old Earth. Now, let's move on to. Recently, astronomers stumbled upon an extraordinary find, HD 131399AB. This new planet has shattered all previous records by orbiting around three suns simultaneously. It boasts a colossal mass, for times that of Jupiter, and takes an unusually long orbit around its trio of stars. A single revolution of this exoplanet around its three stars spans a whopping 550 Earth years. And get this, the three suns only dip below the horizon for about half of that time. Picture not witnessing a single sunset for 275 years. All of this is happening a staggering 340 light years away from our good old Earth. Now, let's move on to our next cosmic marvel, the oceanic world of GJ1214b, a planet situated 300 light years farther than our previous discovery. Water covers 70% of Earth's surface, but on GJ1214b, water could make up a staggering 10% of the total mass, creating a colossal ocean hundreds of kilometers deep. This planet is 2.5 times the radius of Earth and roughly 6.5 times more massive. Imagine the mysteries lurking in a massive ocean like that, though, due to immense pressure, it's doubtful any life as we know it could exist there. There's speculation that the water at the bottom could be a peculiar form of ice known as I-7, though there's much we still don't know about it. Lastly, let's talk about KELT 9b, a real scorcher in our cosmic neighborhood. This Jupiter-sized planet completes a full orbit around its star approximately every 1.5 days. Orbiting a colossal A-class blue giant star, KLT-9, which is twice as large and twice as hot as our sun, this planet reaches an astounding temperature of 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit for 1,320, 7 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than many stars. It's discovered using KLT telescopes by Scott Gowdy. Now, if extreme sports are your thing, consider base jumping a wild activity where adrenaline junkies leap from high points and deploy a parachute just in the nick of time. It's like confronting death itself. But here's the kicker, what if I told you there's a place in our solar system, 71 light minutes from Earth and 9.3 billion miles away, where base jumping would seem like a stroll in the park? That place is Titan, one of Saturn's moons. With a dense atmosphere and low gravity, it's a prime candidate for future human colonization. Imagine the exhilarating possibilities. So, while birds aren't the only creatures that can take flight, we just need to figure out how to get to Titan and create our cozy little nests. Easy? Not really. But the thrill of soaring through Titan's skies might just make it all worthwhile. Titan, the moon of Saturn, holds promise for future colonization, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let me break down the details for you in simple terms. First off, Titan has an atmosphere, which is pretty cool. It's one and a half times denser than Earth's, and the gravity is only one-seventh of what we're used to. So, picture this, you could potentially stroll around the moon's surface with just some basic scuba gear. Sounds not bad, right? But here comes the tough part. It's downright freezing on Titan. The temperature is a bone-chilling minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit and the average wind speed hits a whopping 20 miles per second. That means walking around would only be feasible near a robust heating setup, maybe powered by a nuclear or thermonuclear reactor. 
Now, the atmosphere is not your typical oxygen-filled space. Nope, it's packed with not-so-cheerful substances like cyanogen and cyanic acid. In other words, it's not only unsuitable for breathing but downright poisonous. So, any shelters on Titan must be airtight, with airlocks for complete air replacement. Considering Titan's unique characteristics, energy and transportation won't be like what we have on Earth. Acetylene, a substance that releases heat upon decomposition, could serve as fuel a Titan version of coal and gasoline. Solar and hydro energy won't be as effective, and unfortunately, there's a shortage of uranium, ruling out nuclear reactors for heating. Heavy elements and metals are scarce, so we might need to import them from asteroids. In this scenario, air travel becomes a practical choice, airplanes, helicopters, and airships due to the dense atmosphere and exist in our universe, then it is likely that they can create simulations no similar to those in which you or your chicks. Water transport takes a backseat. Wheel vehicles using acetylene as fuel are possible, but they come with their set of problems like wet sand, rough terrain, and strong winds. Hence, a more practical solution might be railways with trains floating on magnetic cushions for efficient cargo transportation. In a nutshell, while Titan poses challenges, it also sparks imagination with the potential for unique living conditions and transportation solutions. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.